All right, so for the longest time now, I've been showing you the work mat like this, haven't I? And it's time to reveal it to you. I present to you the brand new ultimate lock pinning work mat. Take a look at this. I tell you what, you know, before we go into all of the details, I really just want to say thank you to every one of the Lock Boss community members who helped design this. This mat sits in front of me today because of all of your feedback. And I just want to thank you so much for that. Now let's talk about the size of the pity mat. Of course, it's still made out of thick, high quality PVC and will sit perfectly on a workbench and as you can see in this picture, perfectly in front of a universal pinning kit. One of the most important features of a mat is that you can use it to work, right? You're the ones doing the work and it's important you have a really good workspace. And that's why we've dedicated the largest area of the mat to that actual work area because, well, you need to get that work done. Next up, let's talk about the main grips on the mat. Why is this important? Well, if the grips are too small, well, it's not gonna grip anything when it falls. And if they're too large, it's gonna be a pain in the neck to pull the little items out. So we made sure, just like our last mat, that the grips are gonna do their job, but also allow you to grab up the little tiny items that fall between them. All right, now this is my favorite new feature. On the bottom right, you're gonna find this little orange box. And it's what this is, is a decoding chamber. You know, we all know how important it is when you need to decode a lock, there is a spot for everything because one pin moving out of place makes the whole thing worthless. And that's why we developed each and every one of these chambers to perfectly hold the lock pins. Now, there's also seven different spaces. So whether or not you're working with a standard quick set five pin or a SFIC seven pin, you're going to be able to use this decode chamber. Now, right above the decoding tray, you're gonna find three separate boxes. These boxes are great to put the little parts and pieces as you're taking apart and working with locks that you can keep them all by themselves and you'll always be able to know where they are at all times. Next up is this really large pinning tray. Now, what's the most important part about pinning trays is that you can actually fit pins in them. And as you can see here, you can fit several of each pin in each chamber. And for all of you guys out there who work with automotive, you're going to be pleased to see that the pinning tray is 10 positions wide, which means if you work on automotive, you now have a built in pinning tray. And of course, it's gonna go five deep, so it's really going to accommodate any sort of large-scale pinning operation that you might be doing. And then of course, to each of the sides and on the top, there's a large area to put all of your tools while you do the job and keep them out of the way of the work area. Now, I told you the decoding tray was my favorite, but I actually have something that I enjoy a little bit more, and that is the little tiny toolbox texture that we put in in all of the tool holding parts. I tell you what, I absolutely love it and I'm really curious if you like it as well. All right, so there you have it. The brand new Ultimate Lock Pinning and Work Mat is out. I'll put a link in the uh, notes below. Thank you so much for watching and I would love to know your feedback on it in the comments. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. This mat exists no, this mat e. <laughs> this mat exists. It sounds like I can't say exist right all of a sudden. There's no word I could use. <laughs> um. This mat exists. This mat exists. Oh my gosh, I can't say it. Um exists. And so that's why we specifically designed each and every chamber to perfectly hold the lock pins. And that's why we, and that's why, did, and that's why we developed, 
And that's why we developed each and every one of these chambers to perfectly hold the lock pins. Hey, congratulations, you've made it to the end of the video. You probably deserve a medal, maybe a plaque, but hey, I wanna make sure that when you're commenting that you're including the hashtag LockBoss. When you do, you automatically get entered in to win one of five free prizes we're giving away each week here live on YouTube on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. We'll see you in the comments.